Hi, I'm Susan Perez. I'm going to talk about um, a very recent experience I had as a primary caregiver for my aunt. Um, my aunt passed away in early February from stage four lung cancer. And um, at the time, she was not married and she didn't have any children. So she relied heavily on us, our family, to just to help her is she really did guide us through the process and through what she needed and wanted. But um, at multiple times, we really had to think about her decision making, the advice that she was getting from others, and just really trusting in the process and the people that she chose for herself to surround her even till her last moment. So there were doctors that she trusted and didn't trust. So there was the initial doctor who she felt had it done enough and um, maybe didn't diagnose her quick enough or she felt misdiagnosed her. So then she found a new primary care doctor who was amazing, who my aunt instilled a lot of trust and confidence. But at this point, this primary care doctor was essentially the doctor who was going to see her towards her end of life. She loved this doctor because this doctor made herself available to my aunt 24-7, knowing that my aunt um, was at the end of her life. Um, in fact, this doctor would show up at her doorstep with pie and desserts for my aunt. Um, my aunt and her last few moments, uh, they, months of her life just wanted to like eat all the amazing food that she hadn't yet been able to eat um, and just experience as much as she could from her bed. She was also very particular about the staff and the home health and the hospice people that came in. She trusted individuals whose ideals about life and medicine aligned with hers. I love my aunt, but she was very particular. She knew exactly what she wanted and everything was done on her own terms. So when she found the person she wanted, those people, her team, you knew that there was something special about those individuals, something so special, something special about them, which meant they um, connected with this, my aunt who had a very unique set of beliefs about just life and the world, um, but at the same time could really meet her where she was at in terms of her own health care needs. So it was interesting as a carer, as someone who is helping her navigate is, I, um, this was during COVID through her peak of it is I couldn't ever be in the room. So a lot of these people I could not even meet. So I really had to trust her and her instincts and in trusting this team and it was interesting is even if the rationale she used for why she may have, I'm just going to say fired somebody or chose not to continue care with somebody and then and, and, and chose a different person instead, I just had to smile and go with it. Um, because ultimately, at the end of the day, it was her care. And it was interesting is the ways in which she attributed trust. And again, that trust was really for her is trusting that this person was going to make her comfortable. She was at the end of her life. And so what she needed to know is that these individuals had the mental and like the mental capacity to say the right things, to be present with her so that when she was in pain and maybe medications weren't setting in or that she was going through something really difficult, like, you know, you wake up one day and your legs aren't working anymore, that she could call this person and they could just talk her through it because at that point they couldn't do anything. So trust for her was huge in terms of people she connected with at her end of life. But then also people that she felt were incredibly medically capable and competent. And I guess towards the end, it was really about making sure she got the things she needed in a timely manner. And that was specifically pain medications um, and arranging a care team. So it was kind of an interesting experience to be peripheral to her experiences with these other people, let her lead in these decision making and then trust in her rush, trust in her rationale for what she needed 
from her care team. So in the beginning, it was like, I want the best and the brightest. And then towards the end, she really wanted people who were going to be there um, for her just emotional well-being. Visit buildingtrust.org to learn more.